Vision Norfolk, Magpie News, Summer 2023. Welcome to the summer edition of Magpie News with updates from Vision Norfolk, your local sight loss charity. Summer adventures. With the return of the warmer weather, we're once again hosting accessible walks and outings in the Norfolk sunshine. Throughout the summer months, there will be guided walks of various lengths from each of our hubs. Tandem cycling is once again on offer in Norwich, though spaces are limited due to the need for volunteers. Our boating group in Norwich has returned to open-air sailing after going out in the enclosed motor cruiser all winter. There will also be a special outing to Cromer for crabbing and to the Norfolk Lavender Farm from our Great Yarmouth Hub. You can find a full list of our upcoming activities later in this newsletter on our website or by contacting your local hub and asking what's coming up. Please be aware that our community hubs will be closed on Monday the 28th of August due to the bank holiday. No regular activities will be taking place on this day. In this newsletter, Vision Norfolk News, Hammond Court Construction, Norwich Hub Updates, New Bowls Mat, Photography Group Looking for Members, Kings Lynn Hub Updates, Knitted Blankets Donated, Sit Fit Date Changes, Great Yarmouth Hub Updates, Celebrating the Coronation, Railway Trip, Children, Young People and Families, Equipment News, Using Our Equipment Centres, Windows 10 Accessibility Settings, Activities, Norwich and South Norfolk, West Norfolk, East Norfolk. Other things, Vision Norfolk User Group, Feedback, Leaving a Legacy, Living Wage Employer. Hammond Court Construction. We've just unveiled a £650,000 investment in our Norwich-based Hammond Court accommodation, which allows residents to live independently in accessible flats. All 20 of the flats have been significantly upgraded, including expanding bedsit studios into one-bedroom flats, installing new adapted kitchens and bathrooms, and adding patio doors in every flat, enabling residents to access the sensory gardens which surround the development. The refurbishment to Hammond Court, which was built in 1980, was made possible by a generous legacy donation to the charity. Louise Bunting has lived at Hammond Court for 20 years. Her bedsit studio was enlarged into a one-bedroom flat, with patio doors opening out onto a lawn. I am so happy to have a proper one-bedroom flat with a separate private bedroom, says Louise. It has so much more space and I'm looking forward to making the most of the summer months and being able to open my patio doors and go out into the garden. Norwich Hub Updates New Bowls Mat Our short mat bowls group will have the chance to enjoy the best of bowls inside the Norwich Bradbury Activity Center, the brand new bowls mat. This mat was purchased with money from Active Norfolk, who support the development of physical activities for everyone in Norfolk. They are also helping to support a number of our other sports and well-being activities across the county, including yoga, guided walks, archery, and more. Short mat bowls sessions take place every Tuesday from 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. Photography group looking for members. We are looking for more members to join our photography group based in Norwich. The F Stop Eyes is a group of passionate photographers with vision impairment that meet at the Norwich Hub. In the past, they've gotten hunting snowdrops, held exhibits to display their work, and gone on photo shoots in the Norfolk countryside. The group meets on the first and third Friday of each month from 1.30 p.m. until 3.30 p.m. For more information, please contact Mark at 01603-573-000, extension 341, or email mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Kings Lynn Hub Updates. Knitted Blankets Donated. Our knitting group in Kings Lynn have created and donated two blankets to the Perfleet Trust, a charity that supports people experiencing homelessness in West Norfolk. Squares were knitted by staff, volunteers and members of the knitting group and then joined together to make two full blankets. Kieran Gamble and Dawn Marie Bird from the Perfleet Trust came over to the Kings Lynn hub to collect the blankets and express their thanks. They also said that they welcome any more donations that anyone wishes to drop off at the hub as they have offices nearby. Sit fit date changes. There have been a few schedule changes to our regular sit fit classes in Downham Market. The July session will be on Friday the 14th of July and the August session will be on Friday the 11th of August. All other sessions will be taking place on the third Friday of the month as usual. Great Yarmouth Hub Updates Celebrating the Coronation The Great Yarmouth Hub held a lively coronation party on Wednesday 3rd May 
for clients and volunteers. This was extremely well attended with everyone enjoying a selection of sandwiches and specially decorated cakes. Everyone had the opportunity to enter into the Name the Coronation Bear game, and this was won by Kylie Reed, who chose the name Dusty. We had the pleasure of welcoming the Deputy Mayor to our event, Mrs. Penny Carpenter, who took time to chat to service users and staff at the party and find out why they enjoy attending the Hub so much. Andrew Turner, a local BBC Radio Norfolk reporter, also popped in to gauge thoughts from those who attended, which was also very positive. Everyone went home with a coronation keepsake to remember the occasion. Railway Trip In April, a group from the Great Yarmouth area enjoyed a special sensory steam train trip when they boarded the Burr Valley Railway for an exciting journey from Roxham to Aylsham and back. The group enjoyed the atmosphere of the train as they traveled along the nine-mile track from Roxham before having a special lunch at the Whistle Stop Cafe at Aylsham Station prior to the return journey. Children, Young People and Families The Children, Young People and Families Department organizes activities and events to improve confidence and encourage independence. By including the whole family, we empower these families through shared experience and knowledge and build lifelong friendships. In April, the CYPF department created three new events for Vision Norfolk. These were Gravity Trampoline Park, Norwich Rage Room and Bubble Football. These were great fun and it was wonderful to see both the children and parents enjoying the sessions. In the coming months, we would like to continue to reach more families across the county with the focus of running more events within the Great Yarmouth and Kings Lynn areas. We're starting a new preschool group for Kings Lynn and we also hope to create one for Great Yarmouth in the near future. We're currently working with local authorities and other charities to create new partnerships which allows us to share ideas and therefore create new and exciting events. This also allows us to offer more support networks for our young people and their families. Some of the future events we are running later this year are the Hippodrome Circus, an alpaca afternoon, archery, amazing animal day and a summer party. For more information please email josh at cypf at visionnorfolk.org.uk or call 01603 573 extension 505. Equipment News Using our equipment centres Our Community Hub team members can provide one-to-one -one support and assess the needs of those with any degree of sight loss to determine how best we can help and support you. We can provide access to equipment to help around the house and help you and your loved ones to develop strategies to adapt to daily life. We will be there every step of the way and for as long as you need us. You can book an appointment to come into our equipment centers to try out equipment, talk to our staff about what would work best for you, ask questions, get demonstrations on your current equipment, and make purchases. Some walk-in consultations may be possible, but appointments are strongly preferred to ensure that our staff are available to help you when you come in. You can contact our low vision advisor and educator, John Moreland, with any questions you have on equipment or to set up an appointment at our Norwich Equipment Center at 01603-573-000, extension 323. Alternatively, you can set up an appointment to view and discuss equipment in Kings Lynn by calling 01553-660-808 or Great Yarmouth by calling 01493-745-973. Windows 10 Accessibility Settings We've had quite a few questions in our equipment centers about the accessibility options for Windows 10 computers. Accessibility features can be found by selecting Settings. You can use the keyboard shortcut, which is the Windows key and I, or go to the lower left corner, click the Windows Start icon, select Settings, and then Ease of Access. From there you can make text bigger, Select Display on the left-hand menu. There's a slider to make the text bigger with example text. When you're happy with the text size, press the Apply button. 
This slider only affects the text on the screen. Make everything bigger. You can make everything on the screen bigger, including images, icons, and other items, by scrolling to the Make Everything Bigger title directly underneath Make Text Bigger. There is a drop-down menu that will make everything on the screen larger. Most people prefer to just alter the size of the text. Magnifier. If you go to the left-hand menu in Ease of Access and click Magnifier, you can access the magnifier, which allows you to zoom in on sections of your screen. This section allows you to manually turn on this feature and list the relevant keyboard shortcuts. Color filters. Go to color filters on the left-hand menu. This allows you to adjust the colors on your screen using a number of filters, including inverted, grayscale, and others. There's a switch that turns on the color filter and a number of options you can try to see what works best for you. High contrast. Go to high contrast on the left hand menu. There's a switch to turn on high contrast, which alters the overall color scheme. This includes a menu with various themes. You can also set specific colors for text, hyperlinks, and other individual features to make them stand out. Narrator. Go to Narrator on the left-hand menu. This feature reads aloud selected items, describes what is on your screen, and will read text as you type. Activities. Following is the list of activities that are currently available for adults across the county. Contact our CYPF team for activities for children and young people. All of our activities are free of charge unless otherwise stated. Please check with your local hub for the latest updates and activities. For Norwich and South Norfolk, unless otherwise stated, please contact Richard on 01603 573 extension 322 or richard.polly, that's spelled P-O-L-L-E-Y, richard.polly at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Regular activities. Arts and crafts are held in Norwich on Thursdays from 10am until 12.30pm. Undertake a variety of arts and crafts with support from Helen and the volunteers. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Audiobook clubs. Our friendly and formal audiobook clubs offer a chance to get together and enjoy a chat about a chosen book. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Norwich Audio Book Club runs on the second Monday of the month from 1.30pm until 3pm. Dis Audio Book Club is held on the fourth Friday of the month between 2pm and 3.30pm. Sailing in Norwich, fortnightly, 12.30pm to 5pm. Come and enjoy an afternoon of sailing on the Norfolk Broads with the Nancy Oldfield Trust. Transportation is available from the Norwich Hub and the trip costs £17 per person. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Botcher in Norwich on the 1st and 3rd Friday of the month between 10am and 12pm. Join us for a session of the competitive precision ball sport Botcher, open to all abilities and levels of experience. Bowling in Norwich on the 2nd and 4th Friday of the month between 12pm and 3.30pm. Come and enjoy some friendly competition with 10 pin bowling, regular bowling fee to be paid to Namco Funscape. Socials. Come and enjoy a cup of coffee, a slice of cake, and a chat about everything and anything. Norwich Coffee Morning, last Monday of the month at 10am until 11.30am. Heatherset Coffee Morning, third Tuesday of the month between 10am and 1pm. Creative Writing in Norwich on the third Tuesday of the month between 2pm and 3.45pm. Join a creative writing group that will give you the opportunity to express yourself through the written word. Contact Mark on 01603 573 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Darts is held in Norwich on the 1st and 3rd Friday of the month between 1pm and 3pm. Join us for a few friendly games of darts. Volunteers are around to help you position or read the numbers on the board if needed. Special events. Dunbegan Gardens visit Norwich 19th of July. 
Join a group of garden enthusiasts for a visit to Dumbegan Gardens with transportation provided from the Norwich Hub. The trip costs £4 per person for refreshments. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Brick Kiln Gardens visit, Norwich, 9th of August. Catch a minibus from the Norwich Hub to visit the Brick Kiln Gardens in Shotsham. The trip costs £5 per person for refreshments. Contact Mark on 01603 573 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Guided walks. We're trying to organise some walks of various lengths over the summer. Please get in contact for more details. Tandem cycling. Norwich by appointment. Tandem cycling allows you to continue to enjoy a good and safe bike ride regardless of your vision loss. Theatre trip. The life of Pi. Norwich, 30th of September, between 2.30pm and 5pm. Must be booked by the 28th of July. Based on one of the best-loved works of fiction, Life of Pi is a breathtaking new theatrical adaptation of an epic journey of endurance and hope. Tickets cost £49.50. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000, extension 341, or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Theatre Trip 222, A Ghost Story, 11th of October between 2.30pm and 5pm, must be booked by the 2nd of August. Belief and scepticism clash, but something feels strange and frightening, and that something is getting closer, so they're going to stay up until 2.22, and then they'll know. Tickets cost £42.00. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Theatre trip Northern Ballet's Beauty and the Beast, Norwich, 25th of November between 2.30pm and 5pm. When a terrifying creature threatens her father, Beauty selflessly leaves her family to live with the beast in his castle. As time goes by, she grows strangely fond of her host. Tickets cost £49.50. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. West Norfolk. Unless otherwise stated, please contact Zoe at 015 53 660 808 or via email at Kings Lynn Hub at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Regular activities Archery, Down in Market, first Monday of the month, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. Sight loss doesn't need to prevent you from trying new and exciting things. Join one of our archery sessions designed to be accessible for all abilities and skill levels. Audiobook clubs. Our friendly, informal audiobook clubs offer a chance to get together and enjoy a chat about a chosen audiobook. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000, extension 341, or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Fakenham Audiobook Club, third Monday of the month, 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Gaywood Audiobook Club, last Friday of the month, 1.30 p.m. to 3 p.m. Durham Audiobook Club, third Wednesday of the month, 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. Choir, Kings Lynn, fortnightly on Wednesdays. 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. Join the Vision Norfolk Choir to improve your mental well-being, meet new people, and most importantly, have fun. Socials. Come and enjoy a cup of coffee, a slice of cake, and a chat about everything and anything at one of our socials. West Norfolk Coffee Morning. Kings Lynn, first Wednesday and third Tuesday of the month, 10.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. West Norfolk Men's Group, Kings Lynn, first Monday of the month, 
12 p.m. to 2 p.m. Fakenham Coffee Morning, fourth Tuesday of the month, 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. This is free to attend, but any refreshments must be purchased from the cafe. Emnith Coffee Morning, third Thursday of the month, 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. This is free to attend, but any refreshments must be purchased from the cafe. Down and Market Social, fourth Wednesday of the month, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Knitting, Kings Lynn, second Tuesday of the month, 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. Whether you're a complete beginner who would like to take up knitting or a seasoned knitter, our sessions are a fun and sociable way of getting together with fellow yarn fans. Sit Fit, Down and Market, third Friday of the month, 1.30 p.m. to 3.30 p.m. A seated exercise class suitable for all adults regardless of age, gender, or ability. Special events, guided walks. We are trying to organize some walks of various lengths over the summer. Please get in contact for more details. East Norfolk. Unless otherwise stated, please contact Catherine on 01493 745 973 or Great Yarmouth Hub at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Regular activities. Audiobook clubs. Our friendly and formal audiobook clubs offer a chance to get together and enjoy a chat about a chosen audiobook. Contact Mark on 01603 573 000 extension 341 or mark.smith at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Great Yarmouth Audio Book Club is on the last Friday of the month between 1.30pm and 3pm. Cromer Audio Book Club is on the third Monday of the month between 2pm and 3.30pm. Socials. Come and enjoy a cup of coffee, a slice of cake, and a chat about everything and anything. Great Yarmouth Coffee Morning, uh, Wednesdays, 10 a.m. until 12 p.m. Chroma Coffee Morning, last Wednesday of the month between 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Contact John at 01603 573 000, extension 323, or john.morland, that's spelled M-O-R-L-A-N-D, john.morland, at visionnorfolk.org.uk Games Morning in Great Yarmouth on Thursdays between 10am and 12pm. We usually play a variety of dominoes and card games. Weaving Group is held in Great Yarmouth on Fridays between 10am and 12pm. We use different types of soaked cane to make baskets of all shapes and sizes. Special Events Bingo Great Yarmouth 25th of July, 8th of August and 22nd of August. Try your luck at our regular bingo nights with prizes available for winners. Costs £5 per person. Lavender Farm Trip, Great Yarmouth, 3rd of July, from 10am until 3pm. A group from the Great Yarmouth Hub will be taking a trip out to Norfolk Lavender Farm. The cost of £5 per person. Crabbing in Great Yarmouth on the 11th of July, between 10am and 4pm. Join the Great Yarmouth team on a trip to Cromer for crabbing and fish and chips. The cost will be £10 per person, which includes the cost of crabbing and a small cod and chips. Guided walks. We're trying to organise some walks of various lengths over the summer. Please get in contact for more details. Bowling in Great Yarmouth on the 26th of September from 12pm to 3pm. The Great Yarmouth Hub runs group bowling trips to Wellington Pier. We ask for a £5 refundable deposit. Other things. User Group Our user group was set up in the middle of 2021, shortly after the closure of the Community Worker Service. It was seen as a group that could be run by blind and visually impaired clients to assist the staff and Board of Trustees when it came to making decisions on promoting Vision Norfolk and making sure the charity was moving forward positively. So far, the group have discussed the format of Magpie News, the website, and an updated Vision Norfolk survey, which will be sent out soon. The group is always looking for new members, in particular, people who are in the north and west of the county. We meet around the county once a month, but we also use a conference online system so you can join with us from your own landline or computer. There is no pressure to make a decision. If you would like to come and observe a meeting to see how it is run before committing yourself, you would be most welcome. All correspondence can be sent out in accessible formats, including braille and email. 
It is a very friendly group, consisting of about 10 members at the moment, so please join us. If you are interested and want to find out more, please contact 01603-573-000 or email usersgroup at visionnorfolk.org.uk and one of the team will get back to you with more information. Feedback. We also welcome your feedback on our services and ideas on how we can better support you. Any feedback can always be communicated to 01603-573-000, office at visionnorfolk.org.uk, or by coming into one of our hubs and speaking to a member of staff. In this edition, we are especially looking for feedback on this newsletter. What sections do you find most or least helpful? Is there any other information you wish would be included? Is there any way that the format could be easier for you to access? You can give your feedback at any time by following the previous contact details, or you can send your ideas directly to our communications officer at erin dot s n e l l at vision norfolk dot org dot uk support vision norfolk by leaving a legacy why leave a legacy gift big or small a gift in your will helps us to achieve our mission of supporting people with sight loss of all ages in norfolk to overcome barriers to independence and to live the lives they want our services have provided a lifeline for people across Norfolk for over 200 years, and your legacy will help us to ensure we are here for the next 200 years. Why are they so important? Vision Norfolk has relied on legacies since its inception, and this channel has provided the backbone of our funding. The legacy market is changing due to the increase in financial uncertainty and as more families pass on their inheritance to their loved ones. Nevertheless, we ask that you do think about charitable giving when making your will. How do I leave a gift in my will? Remembering a charity in your will is extremely easy, but certain guidelines must be adhered to or your wishes may not be followed. In essence, there are three basic types of will gifts. Residuary, pecuniary, and special gifts. Residuary gifts represent the remainder of your estate after all creditors and other beneficiaries have been paid. Pecuniary gifts represent a specific sum to be donated. Special gifts are gifts of special articles, property, stamp collections, etc. When writing a will, it is important to get it checked by a legal professional. We are not legal professionals. How can we help? We have teamed up with Quill, K-W-I-L, to offer you the ability to make your will through a simple online process. For a small fee of £90 for a single will, or £120 for a couple. In addition, 50% of this fee will be donated back to us at Vision Norfolk. Quill will guide you through the process of creating your will online. There are no hidden costs, and your will is checked by legal experts. There is live telephone support and advice from Quill's team of UK-based experts. Call 0800-061-4934 or visit www.kwil.co.uk front slash affiliate question mark partner equal sign vision norfolk to find out more living wage employer vision norfolk has been accredited as a real living wage employer as part of our goal to attract and retain the best people to ensure we deliver high quality services we have committed to paying staff the real living wage as defined by the Living Wage Foundation. 
The real living wage is currently 10 pounds 90 pence an hour compared to the statutory national living wage, which currently stands at 10 pounds 42 pence an hour. Chief Executive Andrew Mortar said, quote, Our staff are at the heart of everything we do. They are our greatest asset and are the key to our success. In recognition of this, we have committed putting our workforce at the very center of our approach, encouraging a people-first culture where we value people's experiences and well-being. Close quote. Vision Norfolk also plans to actively support the Norwich Living Wage City Action Group, NLWAG, an alliance of local businesses, charities, and public sector organizations which have made the commitment to be real living wage employers. Daniel Childerhouse, CEO of Future Projects and a member of NLWAG, said, quote, We applaud the trustees and management of the charity for making this commitment, which will translate into even better quality services being delivered to vision-impaired people in Norfolk. For further information on how we can support you and how you can get involved, our website address is visionnorfolk.org.uk or telephone 01603 573 000. Our email address is office at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Our hubs can be found at Norwich, Bradbury Activity Centre, Beckham Place, Edward Street, Norwich NR3 3DZ, telephone 01603 573 000, or email office at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Kings Lynn, Unit 3, Dundee Court, Hamburg Way, Kings Lynn, PE30, 2ND. Telephone 01553-660-808. Email kingslynnhub at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Great Yarmouth, 12 Hall Key, Great Yarmouth, NR30, 1HP. Telephone 01493-745-973. Email greatyarmouthhub at visionnorfolk.org.uk. Dot org dot uk registered charity number two zero seven zero six zero